Hi everyone, this is chapter 6. We are going to learn C group. C group or control groups. We can uh, use the C group to allocate the certain amount of resource to any one of the service. If there is a database service or HTTP web service uh, taking too much of resource, we can limit them to the certain limit, uh, certain resource. If I have a 10 GB of memory in my server, I can allocate 2 GB of memory only for HTTP service so that my web server HTTP service will not take more memories beyond that limit. Just it will use till the 2 GB which I have assigned using the C group. So we can see how to define those C group. Here, if I list the mount mount command pipe group c group we can see the default c group which was defined by the operating system now let's see how to create the c group if i issue the command the uh, system d cg top we can see that http service is not using the any memory defined or cpu defined c group processes so the HTTP service is not running under the C group now. So I'm going to configure the C group for HTTP service. Let me check using the system CTL status HTTPD and my PID is main PID is 2421. Now let me check under the CAT prop. Let me check under prop 2421 C group. The memory and the CPU share was not at uh, not at configured. So I'm going to configure one by one. So let me define how to configure those C group. Uh, let me by default the C group and every targets and services will be underlying in the user lib system D system. So I'm not going to touch those files. Those are defined by the OS installation operating system. So I'm going to modify my own under the ETC system, system D system and I am creating a HTTP dot service and including the user lib system D system so that my original file will be not touched in any case. You can see that I'm including include user lib system D system HTTP dot service. So I'm going to give a resource limit for my HTTP service. I'm going to give 1500 CPU usage for my HTTP service. By default, it will. if I am not configuring the CPU share, it will take 1024 as the default one. If I want to decrease it 500, I can make it as 500. And memory limit was 512 or 1 GB. If it's a FITOL, we want to provide us capital M. If it's a GB size, we want to provide the capital G. Once I done any configure uh, any configuration in the uh, system D, I want to reload the daemon. So let me do the system CTL daemon daemon reload, and then again I want to reload the service to make sure it's under the C group. System CTL restore HTTP dot service. Now let me check the status. The HTTP service is running. It's fine. It's under the C group. And let me check under the proc whether the memory and CPU share was configured for the HTTP service. Yes, it was configured now. We can see the memory and CPU share was configured for HTTP service so that the, the HTTP service will not exceed more than this certain limit the resource which we have assigned in the C group so like this we can configure for any service a VSFTPD or uh, SSHD by default the SSHD will be configured by the operating system let me now run the system DCG top uh, here we can see that httpd.service in the second line, third line, it's using some uh, CPU 0.0, .0 
and it's using some uh, memory around 2.7 MB before it was blank at, and we got, we not configured any C group. Thus, we can configure a C group to resource, uh, limit the resource for any one of the service. Keep on watching for the future chapters. Please subscribe.